Hey, it's Benja. Yesterday, while taking a look at the coming Unity Spring Sale, I saw a few fishy things and I wanted to make a quick video about it in hope that you won't get any upsets. The points I will bring to your attention are valid for assets without the discount and outside of the Spring Sale too. But I think it's kind of a trap to sell those assets with a huge discount in a limited time frame because you might be in a hurry to buy them and won't see the small details that can change quite a lot of things. For those who don't know, Unity Spring Sale offers a major discount on many assets from the Asset Store. This is a good time to get some rather expensive assets at a reasonable price. I found four things you should be careful for. Some assets do not get support anymore. This means that if you run into an issue, the devs won't help you out. The comments and ratings are often a good indicator of the support quality. An asset that isn't supported anymore won't probably work in the newer or future versions of Unity, so it might be a good idea not to rely too much on it. So this one is pretty obvious, but wait, there's a catch. As you may know, Unity works with different pipelines, and some assets will work only with one or two of the three pipelines. Most of the time, it's pretty clear which of the pipelines are supported. Some assets have different versions for different pipelines. Always be careful to check this out. But wait, there is more. Yesterday, while browsing a few assets, I realized that some assets are sold for a pipeline because their main features work on that pipeline. But if you go down the description, you'll find a list of the features that don't work with certain pipelines, and it might be a problem for you and your project. As I said, rating might be a good indicator of the quality of an asset, but if you got time, go in the ratings and reviews and order them starting from the most recent. For a few assets, you'll be pretty surprised to see that the asset was actually good two years ago with hundreds of good ratings, but has been receiving a lot of bad grades lately that aren't really visible in the final grade of the asset. This brings me to my last point. This was the biggest surprise to me and the reason I made this video. While browsing the assets, I found one that got my attention. They offered a free trial from their website, so I went there and it asked for my private info and my credit card, telling me that after 14 days I would have to pay $8 monthly if I wanted to keep using the asset. Already this seems kind of wrong, but I thought, well, if I buy it on the asset store, surely I won't have to pay this subscription, right? Right? Well, actually, you might. See, the asset on the asset store has 2020 in its name. And if you take my third advice from earlier and read the recent comments, they're super bad. Because everyone is complaining that if you want the asset to work on newer versions of Unity, even if you bought it, you have to pay the subscription. To me, that's a no-go. Imagine having to pay a monthly fee for all the assets we got. Do not get me wrong, I still believe the asset looks great. They make it pretty obvious that it won't work with newer versions and they're free to sell it the way they want. I'm sure most assets developers don't earn the money they deserve, but I still believe this is kind of a trap to sell assets like this with a lightning deal, because I'm sure I could have bought it in a hurry without noticing the monthly fee thing. Maybe it's just me, but I never saw any asset with this before. So yeah, these are my two cents and hopefully it will avoid some disappointments. If you discovered my channel with that video and are interested in following my journey creating my dream game or interested in the content I make about game dev in general, consider subscribing with no monthly fee, I promise. Until next time, take care.